Founding director of and uh, I've also been part of the group that African have started in in Kwanzaa are you here? in uh, Azania. Are you so I think before here? I even talk about what I have been able yeah, to contribute, today, uh, I want to give to uh, reverence to Ntata Khalushi Koka, uh, a great a elder people. who's unfortunately no as longer with us, but MCs who uh, did a lot of work in exile when he was uh, based abroad. Uh, and came back to Azania to also introduce 
African people to a lot of scripts around Kemet, understanding, actually a lot of the things that people are waking up to now. He actually was one of the founding fathers of that information and that consciousness, and maybe one of the ones that have tend to be forgotten. So I was very inspired by him. I was able to work with him for about three years uh, before he unfortunately passed away. Um, and one of the things that I was, I had already started to, to, to celebrate Kwanzaa by the time I had met him, but I think he really gave us a push on how to also introduce it in Azania. So we started in 2000, and no, 20, 2002. So this is the 22nd uh, Kwanzaa that we are observing, yes. The journey has been beautiful in the sense that we're doing this because it's a necessity. African people need to know themselves. There's a lot of African people who are not happy with the situation we see in South Africa, in uh, around the continent, what's happening to our people. A lot of it has to do with our level of self-awareness, the oppression, white supremacy, colonization that is happening to us. And many people are saying that we need to stand up and do something about that. And in South Africa, there's a lot of people who agree with that. And um, for me, the significance of Kwanzaa is not just to celebrate or have food or meet each other. That's beautiful too. But what it really is about is to motivate each other to really take stock and say, are we doing what we're supposed to do as African people? And if not, what can we do better? How can we unite stronger so that we can stand up against oppressive forces and make sure that we really liberate Africa in the truest sense? The, this is the first time that we are at this venue in Soweto. We've been to Soweto several times doing different things, but this is the first time we're hosting the opening ceremony of Kwanzaa. And I think this is a beautiful um, uh, venue because it, it really is so, it has great, great synergy. Like where you can do many different things in the space, but wherever you are, you can still be part of the rest. It's not like it's different compartments. So I'm very happy with what I've seen today. I'm very thankful that we could use this venue. And I think we were gonna, we're gonna talk to the owners and see if we can continue this relationship. So for me, Kwanzaa is seven days. It's a, it's a, it's a celebration that happens once a year. For me, Kwanzaa should be the inspiration for what you're gonna do on the three because that's really what matters. If people just come here, put on African clothes, buy an African book and say black, black, black power, that's cute, that's nice, but it doesn't really change anything. So the main thing is, are you come here and see that there's many people who have a similar idea about what we need to do as African people. And then when you get home, make sure that you have created an idea about what you're going to do and then follow it. Don't, don't, it doesn't matter if others don't believe in you, if they think, think that you are stuck up in political ideas, do what you, you have been inspired to do. And so for me, the essence of Kwanzaa is in the other 360 days of the year. What are you doing in those days? That's really the, the essence for me. So as Epokusini Solutions, we also started when we did the first Kwanzaa, we started in 2002. So we have a long track record of working against the stream, meaning that before some of the conversations we now have a little bit more about decoloniality, about white supremacy, about um, uh, de-westernization, we started way before those terms became, kind of became popularized or, or trendy. So we know what it means to work against the stream and not be understood and not be liked even. Um, and we have always known that there's a need for what we do. We have focused a lot on young people. So I think the spirit of Ebukusini really lies within the resistance that young African people have in this country and across the continent to not accept to be oppressed, to not accept to be undermined, to not accept to be written out of history. So I'm using that as an explanation to say that these are, this is why people come on board. It's not like people have time. It's not like they have nothing to do. Uh, the young people we work with, many of them are very, very busy, but they also realize that there's a need. If nobody's doing this, then who are we if we can't do this for, for ourselves and for, each, for our community? So it's really, we're pushing a lot of young people, but young people also are the ones who are asking the right questions and say that we want to make a difference. How do we make a difference? And then we try to guide, we try to support, we try to be there. And I'm very blessed. I've learned so much from the young people that we are surrounded by and that keep working with us. And I really love that revolutionary spirit that they keep living by and, 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 and uh, practicing every day. So I think Kwanzaa is easy to research. You can Google it and it might look like an African-American thing mostly. That's because uh, it was Dr. Karenga, an African-American uh, uh, scholar who kind of conceptualized Kwanzaa first. But Kwanzaa existed for thousands of years before that. So it, it existed in Umkosi, Dikafela, all the many different uh, harvest festivals that we have celebrated on this continent for thousands of years. So I think 
yes, study Kwanzaa, but study also in your language group, how was the harvest celebrated? And could you bring back something along those lines also within your family, within your community? Come to Kwanzaa and celebrate with everybody because here we want to be every language group, every denomination, every nationality, every complexion, every like all African black people come together in one space. But there's also a time when you want to go deeper into this as a Mutsuana, as a Amazulu, whatever, whatever language you speak, you want to study it from that point of view. So I would actually encourage you start there. How is harvest celebrated? within your particular culture. It's important because you will realize that there are many people who may be slightly different than you and think differently than you that you can also learn from and be inspired by. I think this idea that we can only function in organizations where we think exactly the same, that's the most effective way. I don't agree with that because that has not been my experience and my journey to become who I am. And you'll get that that these are people who talk a different language than me. I don't mean just the language, but they have different ideas. They believe slightly different than me, but they have a similar goal. And that's what we need to unite against that, around, that we have a similar goal. We want, a, we want a liberated Africa. We want Africans to be proud. We want to run our schools. We want to run our government in ways that are meaningful to this continent. And that starts here. And I want to, if you can't do it for anyone else, do it for your children. Your children need to know that the other African children were also waking up to African information, African wisdom, African teachings. And when you grow up, you will have a group of people and friends that you have met at Kwanzaa, that you may start a business with, that you may start an organization with, that you may go into leadership with and really take over the power that we need to take. <laughs> no, I think, I believe in black power. Um, because in black power, there's a lot of black love, there's a lot of black culture, there's a lot of black um, resistance. Um, and I want to use both black and African because blackness speaks to what has been done to us and who we have become. But Africanness also speaks to the force that we are and that we rise up as defying those who have pushed us down, lied about us, tried to kill us and try to make us disappear from this earth. We are standing, we are rooting ourselves in this continent. So I'm looking forward to the day when we stand as a free people and I believe it will happen. Okay, so we as Eboko Sini Solutions, we are on social media platforms, Twitter, uh, Instagram and Facebook. Just look for Eboko Sini Solutions. Look for Kwanzaa South Africa or Kwanzaa Mzansi. Um, and you'll find Diff because we, we, we work with a, a number of different organizations. So you'll always find a link or a trace to some of the work that we do. So just look for us, Google us, find us on YouTube, find us on social media, and r write us a message. We love engaging with, especially those individuals who feel like, I'm the only one in my community who think like this, I have nobody I can talk to this. Talk to us, we got you. Call out whiteness, even in black people. Call out Eurocentric features, um, aspects, Things that we love about Europe that have been brainwashed into us, that we need to replace with what is truly ours. And I want you to walk that journey within your family. It's great that we now have more spaces, more organizations, more platforms like this. But Kwanzaa really invites you to have this observation within your own home. So as you know, there are seven principles. I'm not going to read them out now because you can see them and you'll hear more about them. But for the next six days, because after today, there's six days left. Each and one, each and every one of those principles, read something out with the family. Take some time to reflect. Are we as a family really living up to this particular principle in our home? So think about what is it that you need to destroy within yourself, within your surroundings, and within this world. But also don't forget that you are here to build. Build within yourself because you actually have been given what you need. You may not see it that way, you may not experience that way, but you have actually been given what you need. So work with that, build yourself, build your partner, build your children, build your neighbor, build those, children, those youth who are sitting on the corner that upset you and that you are irritated by. Show them that you care about them. Show them that you care about them. And build this continent. It's up to you, it's up to me. I always say, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem.
Brethren and sisters, yes, I man is Ras Jabulani. Well, I elder repatriate, repatriate home, you know, from the living spora. Well, so far the day has been good. We know it is a blessing to see all I and I African brethren and sisters celebrating the true celebration of this time of the year which we know is our celebration of our harvest our first fruits it's got nothing to do with the birth of christ when we know the fullness of the pagan christmas so we have to we have to really make ones and ones know the reality of what colonization has done, subduance of our spirits, right, in order to keep us in the dark rather than in the light. So now Kwanzaa is here for us to waken our children, waken our, our elders to the reality of self and to, do, and to know when we talk of the first fruits, this is the time and the season. So bless. Main advice I would give to them, seek first knowledge of themselves, who they are, who they really are coming from, their actual roots. Make sure that they don't disrespect their elders because they are the foundation. And when we can get knowledge and understanding so that we can come together and maintain one family. Yes, I poo for our vibes, you know, you know, it's Mr. King, so Rob Sarab the king of the Swanyu Stripe of Way to Kimo Lebu Backpackers of Way to, you know. We are celebrating a Kwanzaa, you know, it's a Kwanzaa vibes, you know, poo for vibes, you know. These are the kind of vibes, you know, me love, you know. You know, it's nice to see, you know, beautiful people here. And then, you know, it's nice to see us as black people together, you know, celebrating oneness and unity and love, you know, amongst each other. That's what we promote. Guys, please join us every year, you know. Join us every year. This will be every year. It will be happening, guys. Please. This is a big thing, you know. Please come join us, you know, and enjoy the vibes. Love one another. No hate, you know. Promote love everywhere you go. Positive vibes, no negativity. Yes, I, King Zorob Sarabza, the king of the Tswanyu stripe, is boo for vibes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good people, my name is Morakani. Kimwanyana ko kamakene, kimokata, kiana kabo, kimakadi manantui. Ko kesu hari ja hari lebela ne retafela hari kopanailento. Ntremontu ing today retile mo kwanza 
Kohalebu's backpack, Rita, every year to honor this day. It's such a beautiful day, which I think and expect for all the Africans, irrespective of your belief or anything, Neswansiri Kopane here, and just celebrate the day. It's this day that makes me happy, Eki Statang the year, happily with it, and realizing and recognizing that I'm an African, and I must be proud to be one, and I love to be one. This is why I am here. And at the same time, I'm a designer. This is a gift from my maternal lineage. Every generation in my family, we always get this offering. And this time it was me, there's others coming after me, they also got this offering and we are making use of it. And I hear people really saying my stuff is stunning, it's beautifully exceptional, it's, it's, you can find it nowhere except here. This was produced here in Soweto in Orlando East and we work from home. If you really want to wanna have one of our items, you just call me. There is my number over there and you can also check us on Usiku underscore creations. Usiku is an acronym which goes for undeniably sexy, in-depth indigenity, Ka Ubuntu. It speaks for itself. I don't have to tell you, you can actually see what is happening behind me here. So good day. There is still time. You can pop in and just enjoy the view and enjoy all the stores that are around here. We are really trying. You can see the economy is not in our favor, but we are very much trying. Thank you. Attending Kwanzaa is one of the most symbolic things that you can do. You, you actually understand who you are, where you come from. You, you, you go by the principles of, 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 of uh, 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 Kwanzaa and you, you adhere to them. You will be recognized as Ubuntu. That's where you find your Ubuntu. That's where Ubuntu was actually founded from the seven principles. That's when we can realize, Hore, Omoto. You understand, you respect, you bring up your kids well, you, 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 you instill respect in your family, in the line of family, the uncles, the brothers, the gokos. You know, you, you know even how to share. You share. Because with Ubuntu, we live to share. You can't just own everything and, you know, yeah, you can't leave people hungry and, and think you are better. No, you are not. Not at all. So the principles will actually guide you. They will guide you and make you, make you this person wa Africa. And this is how our ancestors used to live anyway. Ours, it is just to continue with it. It is just to continue with it. Simple, they are not asking so much from us. It's a seven day affair, but we always come once on the first day like this one. It's an opening. And you can continue every day and leave Kwanzaa. Yes. Yes, you can continue every day and live the Kwanzaa way. To our youth, I would, I would, I would appreciate, I would very much appreciate if you can know, because you must pride yourself with your your culture. This is one of our cultures. You must pride yourself with it. Don't want to speak American. Don't want to speak Chinese. Don't want to speak Russian. You are an African and you cannot change that. And after here, there is no way where you are going to go and be accepted as something else. You should be happy to be here and live here and end up here. You can go overseas and work there and do all the things, but at the end of the day, you are going to come back here and meet your kokos, your mkulus, and everybody, and speak the language as well. Your language is also very important. It's not alcohol that makes us happy. It is what is inside of us that makes us happy. So we find joy here. Irrespective of age, we find joy. So please, just like next year, just try. It's all, always after Christmas, just the day after Christmas. If you're tired, if it's here next year, you'll lie down on the lawn under the trees. And then you'll be really doing yourself a favor, learning something else.
It's not everything that you are going to find on Google. It is not everything. It is what they are talking about here that is going to build you and build the next generation after you and after you. So it's important for you to be here. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, my name is Dineo Muriti, but I'm known as uh, Umkulum Sizwe Kabuza. Yeah. Uh, it has been beautiful, actually. Um, I think this is Kwanzaa, actually. We, we had quite a large number, you know, and I think maybe because of the space accommodated, you know, but, um, yeah, it, 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 it was very beautiful, actually. It was very beautiful. And the opening as well, since I was part of... Uh, um, you know the person that had to open the program and all of that so yeah it, it was actually it was actually you know. oh the knowledge actually you know um and also to know that this is actually an african celebration it has got nothing to do with uguti there's christmas and then we took kwanzaa because there was christmas and all of that no this was actually the origins of african celebrations where we celebrate the harvest where we celebrate the fruits of the spirit and the fruits that you know um um has given you know unto us and recognize nati you know as africans how rich we are continue uh, well i'd say i'd say to people um people we, we need to go back to ourselves we need to go back to recognizing who we are what we are you know and also in, in as, as, as one of the seven principles of Kwanzaa speaks about, you know, umoja, which is unity, so that we go back to ourselves, Nati, as African, and, and, and regroup, you know, so that we can um, find ways and mobilize on actually building a, a very concrete structure that's going to uh, be very green. <laughs> fruitful for the African, for the African, I can see, yeah. Yo, Mina, I, I don't really want it to be a yearly thing, but because I overstand, because of the harvest, because of, and all of that. Um, before, I think back in 2016, 2015, we used to have Kwanzaa, the opening, I remember, on the 16th, from the 16th, and then we'd have activities that we do in preparations for the actual cer ceremony on the 26th of December until the 1st of Jan, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So I think if you can go back to that, you know, where we, we, we exercise that, so that where we bring the energy back again, so that in preparation for, you know, the actual ceremony, as I said, regrouping, you know, and restructuring ourselves as African as well. So African. Be words. Um, I love y'all and <laughs> I love you and yeah, um, light, peace, joy. What you know, and yeah, let, let's let's continue to be what we are and answer the call because I think a lot of us have Nitini. Our calling always calls us. Our growth always calls us, but we continuously run away from it. So if we continuously run away from it, it's 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 it's, it's, it's saying that what you resist persists. You know. So we, as I said, I'm going back to. The regrouping, you know, honor the call, honor your growth, and yeah, let's see what we do as Africans, see how we mobilize in working together. Uh -huh.